Conservation and environmental groups are praising a federal judge's decision to halt oil and gas drilling on 300,000 acres of public land here in Wyoming. Washington, D.C. District Judge Rudolph Contreras basically ruled that when leasing, the Bureau of Land Management refused to calculate the impact of climate change, specifically greenhouse gas emissions from future oil and gas development. That, he wrote, violates federal environmental laws. Wyoming Senate Vice President Ogden Drisco is coming down hard on the judge's ruling. To see these frivolous lawsuits get filed that are on leases that have already been issued by our own government, and we've got businesses that got hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars on the line, and to have a judge that has no base understanding of the issues to make a broad ruling on something as idiotic as climate change on this is absolutely a tragedy. The Nature Conservancy's Richard Garrett, while not speaking directly about the judge's decision, says climate change is real, causes anxiety on both sides and needs to be addressed. He says Wyoming is the best place to start that conversation. What I'd like to see is all of us come together and have kind of a frank conversation about how to solve this not just for this generation, but for future generations. That's kind of our obligation, I think. We Pete Oberbuehler of the Petroleum Association of Wyoming says even if this lawsuit brought by environmental groups is limited to 300,000 acres in Wyoming, the ruling could expand to federal lands in Utah and Colorado. But he says it would do nothing to limit greenhouse gas effects because it would still be drilling in Texas, Oklahoma, and North Dakota. All it will do is, at a minimum, delay, further delay Wyoming or disallow drilling in Wyoming is the final end game, I think, of some of these groups. All that does is shut down Wyoming's economy. It doesn't end greenhouse gas emissions because we'll just drill on private land states. Obermuller and Dresco believe an appeal of the judge's ruling is in the works. Robert Jihak, Cowboy State Daily.